Hey everyone, my name is Rick Gualtieri and welcome to Tales of a Middleist Author. Um, well, first of all, I wanted to apologize if these have been a bit sporadic for the last couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> I had uh, I had a, a couple big launches going on and it, and I was also sick and uh, neither really would have made for uh, for a good uh, a good video, especially me not like dripping snot rockets everywhere. But uh, I also wanted to offer, I guess, a heads up slash additional apology apologies in advance because uh these are probably going to be sporadic um for at least the never next several weeks um one i've made it through my um my initial list of topics that i wanted to like you know i wanted to cover and uh you know as, as more things come up i'll be making more videos um and of course as items of interest come up but probably more importantly after months of uh, of, of editing and revisions and stuff i'm back to writing I'm currently working on three books, uh, Everyday Horrors, Bill of the Dead 2, uh, Bent on Destruction, The Hybrid of High Moon 3, and Kraken Hunters, which is uh, the third book in the Crypto Hunters uh, saga. So uh, I'm hard at work on those. Each of them are maybe around 10,000 words now, and I'm, and I'm working to grow them. So uh, that's going to be my focus. And I know, and when I'm deep in writing, um, I tend to have a bit of tunnel vision. So that's why I'm just offering that... Uh, you know, rather than committing to a weekly schedule for this, I'm probably going to be pulling back and just like kind of doing them as topics come up. Um, that said, I'm not leaving you high and dry here because uh, if you like the advice I give, you can find me on a brand new podcast that's uh, that's out there now, and I'll I'll leave a link in the uh, <clears throat> in the comments. But I am a part of Splam, and uh, what is that? Splam stands for self publishing like a motherfucker. And uh, it is a podcast devoted to best practices for self-publishing, but also done in a uh, in an entertaining way. So, uh, so we we try to have fun, we try to crack jokes, that stuff. So, uh, so while while we're teaching you something, and while you're learning the business, you're not falling asleep, um, <clears throat> which which is kind of like I think a, I think a a bit of a problem in the, like the, the podcast market these days because some of them are really really dry. They're super informative, but you got to listen to some people who just don't have a lot of personality to talk. Not that I'm saying I have a ton of personality, but uh, it's hosted by Robert Bevan of uh, Caverns and Creatures fame, as well as uh, Claire Taylor, and uh, I'm part of uh, I'm part of the the pool of floating co-hosts, if you will. So, uh, you know, so uh, I will be popping in there. I can't promise weekly, but I will be popping on in there probably at least bi-weekly, um, if not more, um, to uh, to talk to guests and uh, and such and ask questions and uh, offer my own two cents on uh, on stuff. So check it out. It's in the comments below. And uh, before I leave you, I did have one item of interest to talk about this week. <clears throat> and uh, this kind of popped up over face on Facebook over the weekend. And uh, it's nothing new. Don't get me wrong. But uh, the idea popped up of, well, of an author guild. Now, this is not a publishing idea. The idea behind this is really not very good. It's it's essentially a circle jerk. It's, uh, hey, let's, let's get 100 or more other authors in this group, and we all pledge that uh, once a week or, or more, we decide to promote one person's book, and we all buy that book and, like, you know, and artificially inflate the rank. Um, let me just point out, if you have seen anything about this, or if anybody approaches you, my advice is run, don't walk, because this is a really bad idea. And the reason it's a really bad idea is because <clears throat> you're, in, you're participating in rank manipulation. You are you're not buying books because you want to read them. You're buying them because essentially you're part of a cabal to artificially inflate ranks. And when you do that, that is against Amazon's terms of service. And more importantly, that is uh, that is basically at that level where if Amazon catches you and uh, they're in a not forgiving mood, you can lose your account, in which case you're gone. So the question there is, what are what are the benefits for you versus what are the downsides? Well, the benefits are you for you are a, spending your own money or, you know, KU or whatever, however they're going to do it, um, artificially inflating your, your, your book, uh, probably getting also bots that have nothing to do with you because you have a bunch of random authors buying it as opposed to real readers. Um, probably getting a minor little boost of like, Hey, look, I'm in the top 100 of my, of my category. And then immediately sinking down because you're not, you're not catching readers eyes. You're just catching other authors eyes and potentially getting caught and losing your account. So, uh, I'd say that's, uh, I'd say all in all, it's a dumb idea. So if anybody approaches you, I would say, uh, you know, just tell them, uh, no, I actually do this the legit way. I'm building my readership one reader at a time. 
Um, I'm not playing games. I'm not looking for shortcuts. Um, and if you bother me, I'm going to report your ass to Amazon. <laughs> just my my advice. But uh, that's I'm just letting you guys know what's going around, and that is really not cool. It's that that's not a self promotion. I mean, it's one thing for people to promote other authors. It's even another to like be in a in a book group where we're like, hey, this week we're going to like read this because the whole point is reading. That is blatant, just rank manipulation. And again, um, you're just going down a bad path if you're looking at that. So uh, that's just my advice. All right. My name is Rick Gualtieri. This is Tales of a Midlist Author. As I said, it's going to be, uh, I guess, a bit of a sporadic hiatus for uh, for the next several weeks. Um, I will pop on, as I said, of, uh, as items come up or as people ask me, hey, hey, you didn't talk about this topic. Can you do that? But uh, other than that, I'm going to be deep in my writing cave for uh, for probably the next uh you know, month and a half, two months, maybe even longer. And, uh, you know, trying to crank out these stories and bring people the best stories I can. And, uh, you know, that will pretty much be my life. Hey, I'm a writer. It's what I do. And it's probably what you should be doing as well. I'll talk to you soon.